Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday and it's a new month. Yay! It's April 1st. It's April Fool's Day. Today is a day where you can tell funny jokes to your friends um, or you can um, do some jokes to your parents. April Fool's Day. Yay! Happy April. Uh, welcome to our little unicorn uh, circle time with moi, Miss Britt, and I am very excited to be here. Yesterday was really fun um, doing our show and share together on Zoom. We saw lots of great things and you guys did amazing counting. Very good. Round of applause. And we had a special guest, Miss Whitney, with us which was so fun to see her. And um, we're gonna talk about what she had on our show and share uh, yesterday for um, our arts and crafts that we're gonna talk about later. Now, before we do, do you guys remember what Miss Whitney showed us yesterday at show and share? Do you remember? I remember, but I'm gonna show you guys later. We'll talk about it later. Okay, I found these guys in my playroom. Well, it's not really my playroom, it's my kids' playroom, Max and Emma. But there's so many fun things in here from when they were little. And these are two finger puppets. Hello. Hello. And these were from a show called Bear in the Big Blue House. And Max and Emma, well, really Max, used to love this show. So if you guys can ask your parents to look up Bear in the Blue, Big Blue House, there's a lot of fun things that they teach you. And this is Bear. And I forgot what his name is, but Max will probably uh, probably know. Hi. Mwah. Giving you guys kisses. Give him a kiss. Ready? Mwah. Yay. Okay. April 1st. Now, April is a month that's in spring. Remember our, um, our seasons dance? Fall, winter, spring, and summer. So April is a month in spring, and April brings showers for May flowers. May is the month after April. Now, does it look like it's raining outside? No, who's our meteorologist today? Who's our helper? Who's our classroom helper, a meteorologist? Raise your hand, who wants to be that? Okay, Leah, what is the weather today? It's not raining, it's sunny. But is it warm? It's not warm. May, what is it? It's a little chilly. That's why I have my favorite sweatshirt on and my little headband and I got sweatpants on. It's a little chilly, but it feels so good. And the sky is blue. It's crystal blue. You guys should go outside and have fun out there. And we've got some activities you guys can do outside too. I've seen so much beautiful uh, sidewalk ch chalk drawings, um, lots of hearts and windows, and people are just doing such great things and being so kind during this during this time where we have to be at home. Um, but uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, April is a spring month and the sky is blue and we're going to read a book called Sky Color that's going to kind of talk about what I was sharing with you guys at another circle time when I was a little girl and our t my teacher told me that I couldn't paint the sky orange. I couldn't paint the sky pink. I had to paint it blue. And that made me so sad. Where's my sad emoji? It made me, I don't have a sad emoji. Well, that's okay. It made me sad. <laughs> You can paint your sky any color you want. And Sky Color, this book, celebrates that just like the guy who, the artist who painted the horse blue. So we're gonna read, read that later in celebration of our blue, blue sky and how beautiful it is outside today, okay? If we were in our classroom at school, we would have our calendar on our wall and I would show you the new month, April, and it begins with the letter Ah, ah, do you know what letter that is, Soren? Ah, Jackson, it's a vowel, right? A, wait a minute. Was George here? 
George is our classroom friendly ghost. And when things go wrong in our classroom, it's probably George. Is he playing a joke on me for April Fool's Day? Lyle? I don't know because look, friends, where are my letters? Where are all my 26 letters that are on the board? I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe we'll find those letters. They're not here right now. But before we do that, friends, I want us to do our breathing exercises and talk about our mindful listening, our mindful awareness, okay? And our brains, our calm brains, our happy brains, okay? So today, for our breathing, and we're talking about numbers too, so do you guys remember how many times we breathed? Ellis, do you remember? What number is this? One, two, three, four, four, right? We breathe four times and we breathe through our belly, with our belly, big bellies. And what Miss Allison does when she breathes in her yoga classes, she has breathing buddies. And I happen to have one of the breathing buddies, buddies here. Hi. Mwah. This is Stinky Kid Brit. Hello. I told you I have lots of things in this playroom. This is Stinky Kid Brit, and she's going to be my breathing buddy today, okay? All right, so if you guys have a breathing buddy, go get it. Or if it's right by your side, like Charlotte has her, her um, zebra. What letter does zebra start with? Z. Z. I want to do it the right way for the camera. Z, right? So go get your breathing buddy, and let's breathe together, okay? So you close your eyes. No peeking, no April Fool's peeking. No, no, not you. Who haven't I called on? James, no peeking, no April Fool's peeking, okay? So we're gonna do our breathing. Close our eyes, take our breathing buddy, put it on our belly. You can't see it on my belly, I'll put it on my chest, okay? And you wanna breathe with your breathing buddy, okay? So let's do it four times, here we go, ready? In through the nose, out through the mouth. I see you peeking. I see you peeking. I think I called on everybody. Jackson. Four. Our brains are calm. Our brains are ready to listen. Our brains are happy. Our brains are happy. My happy emoji. Hi, happy, happy. Okay, thank you, stinky kid Brit, for breathing with me. Mwah. Put her with the bear up here. Where are my letters? Soren, did you take my letters? All right. That was our breathing. Now, we talked about mindful listening, okay? Listening with our full, what are these? Are they elbows? Are they eyes? Are they knees? Ears, listening with our ears, okay? And we wanna be mindful when we listen. That means we wanna listen really, really carefully so that we can hear things. Remember, we took the time the other day and we, we sat here for 15 seconds with our eyes closed. No peeking. Our eyes closed and we listened and we heard different things. What did you guys hear? Do you remember? I heard a little bit of the rain outside, remember, and the fan in my house going, and my little doggy pudgy, let's show you pudgy, my little doggy pudgy, that was her when it snowed one time, pudgy, with her finger, with her nails going clickety clack, clickety clack, on my um, hardwood floors. So you guys want to practice that mindful listening, okay? So you want to really listen, and if you're talking, Duck, 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 duck. You're not listening, right? You want to listen real mindfully so that your brain 
can be aware of things that are around you. And a good thing we could do today is we could go for a walk. Why don't you go for a walk and be mindful and have a calm brain and listen to all the sounds that you hear outside. And this is a book called The Listening Walk. So it looks like she, this little girl, with her rainbow pouch around her neck. And who do you think is attached to this leash? Who do you think, Leah? You think it's an elephant? What letter does elephant start with? Eh. Eh. What letter is that, Charlotte? E. That's right. E. Okay. Well, I don't know who that is, but that's, let's read the book and find out. And when you're a mindful listener, do you remember all those W, 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 w words that we talked about in class when we read books? The who, what, where, when, and why, okay? Remember we were asking you those things? So if you put on your listening ears and your mindful listening, and you have your calm brain, you guys can answer those questions for this book, okay? So let's do that. So the listening walk. Oh, she looks so happy outside. Looks so pretty out there. The listening walk, what is she doing here? What? Mia, what is she doing there? That's right, Mia, she's putting on her shoes. She's Maybe you guys can practice tying your shoes now. Right, we talked about zip, z, z, zipping your jackets, flying into your coats, which you may need a coat today so you can practice flying in. Practice tying your shoes. I can do it, yes I can. It just takes practice, my friends, practice. All right, here we go. I like to take walks. I take walks with my father and our dog. It was a doggy, May. Did you guess that? Did you guess that? Eddie, you gonna take Eddie for a walk? And our dog. Our dog is called Major. He is an old dog and he does not walk very fast. Friends, my doggy is 10. Show me 10. Five and five is 10. 10. And she walks very, very, very slow. Very slow. So, so, does me, so does her dog. He does not walk fast. Oh, I don't know if I showed you that picture. We go down the street and we do not talk. <gasps> That's why it's called a listening walk. Because they're not talking, using their mouths. They're listening and they're being quiet, right? Zip the lip, right? They rhyme zip, lip. What else rhymes with zip and lip? James, you're my rhyming girl. Zip, lip. My father puts his hands in his pockets and thinks. Major walks ahead and sniffs. I keep still and listening. So what is Major the doggy doing? What did I say? If you're using your mindful minds. Let's see. Leah, what is the doggy doing? Sniffing. Does your doggy sniff on a walk? Sniffing. I keep still and listening. I call this a listening walk. You guys, you, not me, you go outside and do a listening walk. On listening walk, I do not talk. I listen to all the different sounds. I hear many different sounds when I do not talk. And that's what we were doing with our mindful exercise. First, I hear Major's toenails on the sidewalk. Who, who, that's another W, word who let's see Alice else heard their doggies toenails when they were walking that's right Miss Britt me major has long toenails when he walks his toenails scratch the sidewalk they go twick 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 I hear my father's shoes on the sidewalk 
my father walks slowly. What, another W word, what animal walks slowly besides Major Soren? A turtle! Right, a turtle! My father walks slowly and his shoes go dop, 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 dop. I can't hear my shoes. I wear sneakers. We call those our fast shoes, right? Go outside, wear your fast shoes, and go fast, fast, fast. Run, run, run. Like a what? A rabbit. A bunny. I hear all sorts of sounds on a listening walk. I listen to sounds I never listened to before. I listen to the lawnmowers. That's what cuts the grass. Lawnmowers are noisy. Ma, noisy. Can you be noisy, unicorns? Unicorn. Ma, be noisy. A lawnmower makes a steady zooming noise. It goes like this. Zoom. Zoom. What letter is that? Z. Z. Oh, you're there. Oh, and you see them walking, peeking over the wall? I like to listen to lawn sprinklers. Oh, if it was a nice day outside, that would be really fun. Have you guys ever played in your sprinkler outside? And what's this? What's that, Mia? That's right, it's a rainbow. They make different sounds. Some sprinklers make a steady, steady whispering sound like this. Can you say that sound? H. <gasps> they go like this. With, 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 with. On a listening walk, I hear cars in the street. The shiny new cars are quiet. Soren, you should go out and look at all those cars. You love your cars. They make only a hmm. But old cars are very noisy. Old cars sound like this. Bracka, 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 bracka. When cars go around the corner too fast, the tires go vroom. We don't want to go that fast. That's too fast. When cars stop quickly, the brakes go ee. Right. Where do you think they are? Another W. Where, Charlotte? Where do you think they are? They can be in our neighborhood. And what's our neighborhood called? Where our school is? Morningside, right? Right? On a listening walk, I hear all kinds of sounds. A bicycle bell ringing. Ding, ding, ding. A baby crying. <laughs> wow. A jet flies over. Jets are very noisy when they're overhead. A jet goes, ew. A boy runs by dribbling his basketball. Bump, 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 bump. So see if when you go outside, you can hear people riding bicycles, hearing babies cry, and when you're hearing airplanes in the air or practicing basketball. I miss playing basketball with you guys in the gym. That was so much fun. Are, Lyle, are you practicing your dribbling, Jackson? Um, um, Leah, you practicing your dribbling? We were doing that in the gym. A lady hurries by. She is wearing high heels. The lady's high heels go, big buck, big buck, big buck. The bus is coming. The lady starts to run. Big, 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 big. The bus stops at the corner. Psst. The lady gets on. The bus starts up again. All those sounds. And if you're not mindful, not mindful listening and you're talking, talk, 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 talk. You can't ha hear all those sounds that you may not have heard before. Around the corner, men are digging up the street. They are using a jackhammer. It makes a loud banging sound. Duck, 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 duck. Loud. See if on your walk, your listening walk, you can identify or you can recognize or you can tell your mommies and daddies or whoever you're walking with the different sounds that you're making, and you can play a game. You can play a game, What guess what that sound is, 
right? You may hear a sound from far away, like a jackhammer. You may not see it with your eyes, but you can hear it with your ears because you're mindful listening, right? So see if you can play a game of guess what that sound is. The jackhammer hurts my ears. I put my hands over my ears as we walk by. Ah! Some noises are way too loud. See her? She's got her hands on her ears. There's the jackhammer. What community helper is that using a jackhammer? Do you guys remember, friends? Construction worker, right? Like Ellis's daddy. Sometimes my father and I take Major to the park. It's quiet there. The sounds in the park are not loud like noises in the street. My father and I walk down a sh shady path. I do not talk. I listen. I listen to my father's shoes on the path. They make a soft sound. They go chuff. What a beautiful park. We have so many beautiful parks around our neighborhood. Have you guys gone to a park lately? Park. Park. I listen to the birds in the park. I listen to the pigeons and the ducks. The pigeons fly down to meet us. They want us to feed them. Oh, you guys can make a birdhouse like Science Sarah did on her website. You guys can go there. Science Sarah's website and she made a birdhouse. You guys can do that. Remember, we did that in class. We took a pine cone with peanut butter and um, bird seed and we made up a, a little bird feeder. Um, and that's what Miss Sarah did. I said birdhouse, but it's a birdhouse feeder. The pigeons puff up their feathers. They take little tiny steps. They come toward us nodding their heads and they say, That's why she had that little bag around her neck, her little pocketbook, her little rainbow. She had bird seed in there to feed the ducks. I love feeding the ducks or the birds. Love doing that at Piedmont Park. Oh, look, and Daddy's holding Major. Why do you think, why, why, why do you think Daddy's holding Major? Why, friends? Because he probably is gonna wanna run off and play with the birds and the birds will fly away and not be able to eat the food. At the pond, the ducks are waiting. They want us to feed them too. Where do you think they are here? Maybe Piedmont Park where the ducks are. And look, do you see the babies, the little baby ducklings? The small ducks swim up close. They turn their heads on one side and look up at us. The small ducks waggle their tails and quack. And you guys pretend you're a duck? Waggle your tails and quack, 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 quack. You can do that outside, that would be fun. Pretend you're a duck. Small ducks waggle their tails and quack. They say, I don't know what they say. <laughs> gank, quonk, gank, quonk. Sounds, doesn't sound like a duck. I go quack, 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 quack. The big ducks are not so brave. They stay back and swim around in circles. The big ducks look at us, but they do not come close. The big ducks say, I'm gonna say quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Sometimes I hear a woodpecker in the park. Friends, I have woodpeckers in my backyard and I hear them knocking on my trees all the time. The woodpecker sounds like a little hammer. It goes rat tat, rat tat, rat tat. In the park, I hear crickets in the grass. The crickets go click, 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 click. I hear the wind in the leaves. It whispers, shh. See if you can hear the wind in the leaves or the hair sticking out. <laughs> I hear bees in the flowers. Buzz. Do you guys remember that bee that landed on me the other day? Look at her. She's got her eyes closed. She's doing her breathing exercise. <sighs> and she is mindfully listening to all of the sounds around her. And she has a calm, happy brain ready to learn. It's fun to go on a listening walk. You do not have to go far. You can walk around the block and listen. You can walk around your yard and listen. You don't even have to take a walk to hear sounds. There are sounds everywhere all the time. All you have to do is keep still and listen to them. Mindful listening. 
And what does she have in her hands, my friends? Begins with an M, rhymes with house, a mouse, a little white mouse. That's right. Right now, there are sounds you can hear. When you finish this page, close the book and listen. How many different sounds can you hear right now? Close your book and count them, okay? Count the sounds. We're gonna talk about numbers, and when we know our numbers, we can also count. And we have a pointer finger, we can count, okay? And we have calm, happy brains, ready to listen. The listening walk, very good. Okay, now that we're mindful, now that we're calm, now that we're ready to listen, I want to start with our morning work, okay? And on on um, this day when we're in the classroom for our morning work, we do Play-Doh. And we've been doing Play-Doh with all of our letters. How many letters do we know? 26, all of them, A through Z, every letter, ah, every letter. So we're gonna move on now because we're learning numbers, starts with an N, numbers. We're gonna do number one. Do you guys remember we did this? We had a number one card and we put the amount of stickers on it. You guys can do that at home too. Have your parents write the number zero, because zero is a number, through 10 on each card like we have here, okay? And then take stickers or dot art or anything you want and put the amount of stickers for that number. So this is the number what? One. So how many stickers do we put on there? One. That's right. This is the number two. So how many stickers do we put on there? Two. And so on, so on, so on. Okay. But right now we're going to do our morning work and this is the number one. So we want to take our Play-Doh and we want to get some Play-Doh out. And I don't need a lot for this. Here's my Play-Doh and I'm going to make my snake rolling it. Okay, rolling it. And I'm going to put it on top of, on top of or over my number one. There's my Play-Doh. One, one, one Miss Britt, one. All right, one. Then you take your Play-Doh off and you can squish it in your hands. Use your mindful listening. What does a Play-Doh sound like when you squish it in your hands? What does it feel like when you squish it in your fingers? What does it smell like? Now, we don't want to taste it. No, 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 not in our mouth, no. We want to listen with our mindful awareness, our mindful listening. Okay, so that's what we do for our morning work, and then we would play with our Play-Doh and turn it into all different things. I'm gonna make it a, a, um, a ball, and then I can turn it into a cube for die or dice. Jackson showed us that yesterday at Show and Share Off is dice. And you use your thumb and your pointer, you just keep going around, and you can turn the ball into a cube okay and then what you can do is you can take a little um i'll take the end of my paintbrush and you can poke holes in it to make your die dice or your die i show you here okay i'm just counting using my mindful brain and it's actually squishing okay but look, you can see, I made a little dice die. What number is that? Count the little dots. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, what one's that? I don't know if you can see. Four, and there's our one. So you can take Play-Doh and you can turn it into dice. And if you leave it out overnight, it will harden. Right, Lyle? We did that in class. And then you can roll it and then you can play Play-Doh dice. You can add it to your collection, Jackson. Okay, so that's our number one. That's our morning work with our Play-Doh. Okay, I'm just looking at our stuff. And then we're going to go and talk about our numbers. Wait. 
I'm confused. I keep looking at that board and it says, where are my letters? Friends, where are my letters? George, do you have my letters? Did George, our friendly ghost, follow me home? Well, I'm kind of playing an April Fool's joke on you guys. Not a very good one, but actually in this box. Now, friends, this is something I want to show you, you can do at home. This is a tissue box. I'm sure you have lots of tissues around your house right now, or hopefully you do. And it's empty. No more tissues. We use them all. We don't want to be sick, Simon. Blah. No sick, Simon. Blah. For those of you who don't know Sick Simon, it's a book, and he gets really sick, and it's really, really gross. Ugh. All right? So we use our tissues when we blow our noses or for many other things, and we use them all. So now it's an empty box. So you can do lots of things with this tissue box. You can paint it with your primary colors, red, blue, yellow. You can mix colors with your primary colors. Red and blue make purple. Red and yellow make orange. And um, blue and yellow make green. Okay, you can make them primary colors. What do you get when you mix white and red? You remember? Here's a hint. Pink. That's right. Pink. And remember we made, we painted our little bunny. Pink ears, light blue head, and light purple or lavender body mixing with white. Okay. You can paint your box. You can turn your box into a dice or a die by putting little dots. Okay. You can wrap it. We did wrapping in our class. You guys can wrap, take paper, go find some old wrapping paper that your parents may have, get some scissors that are kid friendly, get some, I don't have it here, tape, and start wrapping the box. All right, but right now, friends, this is where my letters are. And look, you can't see them, they're in there. So we're gonna play a letter game. And this is what you guys can do at home, okay? So you just put in, you have magnet letters, if you have blocks that have letters, you can put in your letter cards that I sent home, okay? Lots of things. You can write the letters and just go ahead and put them in in the um, in the box. Let me get some coffee. I gotta stretch out my feet. My feet hurt when I sit like this. Okay, I'm gonna sit down a little bit. All right, so let's pull out a letter and you guys help me and tell me what the letter is, okay? Maybe you can tell me the color too. All right, ready? I'm gonna call on each person and then we're gonna we're only gonna do nine because we have nine friends in our class. Nine. And then we'll do more letters tomorrow, okay? So the first letter is Soren. What letter is this? Qua. Q, right, Q. Q says qua. And whose best friend is Q? U, right, Q. And what color is Q? Purple. And what two colors make purple? Red and blue. Very, very good. Very good. Kiss your brain. All right. Jackson. Ready? What letter is this? That's right. It's an M. Up, down, up, down, stop. Mmm. Not a W. An M. What color is the M? Green. Right, and what two colors make green? Blue and yellow, yay, very good. All right, Lyle, it's your turn, ready? Here we go. Oh, what letter is this? J, right, J, 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 for your best friend, Jackson Pratt and James Simpson, yay. Oh, what letter, or what color is it? It's a primary color. Yellow, yellow, yellow. All right, here we go. I'm not peeking, I promise, I'm not cheating. All right, let's see who's next. Ellis, what letter is this? That's right, G, G, not J. We just did that for J, G. And we said for gumball. And what color is it? Purple, how would we make light purple or lavender, Ellis? Add our white color, right, white. All right, let's see. 
Uh, James, ready? What letter is this? Up, down, up, stop. N. Mm. Mm. And what color is it, James? Red, a primary color, right, red. All right, let's see. May, you ready? F says what? Fishy. All right, Mia, here we go. Mia, Mia, Mia. Ooh. <gasps> Comes out of our head when we sleep. What letter is that, Mia? It's a Z, right? The 26th letter, last letter. Z. Z. What color is that, Mia? Blue, blue, a primary color. All right, Charlotte, here we go. Ooh, Charlotte, first letter of the alphabet. What is it? A, that's right. A is a vowel, and A says, ah. And what color is it? Yellow, yellow, yellow. All right, and last but not least, my good friend, Leah. Leah, what letter is this? P, right. P, P, blow it out. P. And what color is it? It's yellow again. Yellow. All right. We'll keep doing this this week. And you guys can do this at home. Use all those recyclables. We're trying to use as much of those um, cardboard boxes and all the stuff that we're using while we're at home to learn and to reuse and to make fun things. Okay. All right, so now we're talking about our numbers, zero through 10, but this week we're gonna focus, or these couple of days, maybe we'll move on tomorrow, zero to five, okay? And yesterday for our show and share, we brought stuff to count. Okay, so let's look at our board. Here's our board, my counter, my pointer. Numbers, okay? So we wanted to find the numbers, ready, remember? Zero, one, two, three, four, and five. You can write the numbers. You can do tallies, which are little lines. You can do use your die or dice. You can use your fingers. We would only need one hand to count to five. High five, high five, high four, high three, high two, high one, high zero, fist bump. Right, remember our brain. You can make your brain with your fist. Okay, those are our numbers one through five. And I sent your parents, remember these mats, the number mats, so yesterday, or Monday we did number, right, one. And I asked you guys if you had time to do number two. So today, together, we're gonna do three, and you can do four at home, okay? So let's do three together. So this is the number three, right? We're gonna take our marker, and we're gonna trace the number threes on here to help us write the letter three. So I'm tracing the threes on my mat. Right there, okay? To help me write the letter three. Three. And I can trace the big one too. I can do it, three. And I'm even going to try to write the number three. Now it says show, okay, here. So we can do that. Show us the number three, you can do three, fingers like this. You can do three with the thumb. You can try to do three with the pinky. Three. I'm going to try because I can do it. Yes, I can to write three on my own since I traced it four times. All right. So I'm going to make the letter three. <gasps> Did I do it? 
I did it! Yay! Yes, I can! Yes, I can! Yes, I can dance. Yes, I can. I'm gonna get a sticker in a second. Okay, then we want to fill in how many boxes on this? Not one, not two, but three, because we're doing the number three. Okay, so I'm going to take, actually, I'm going to take my Play-Doh, Play-Doh, and I'm gonna do three little balls. Remember at school, you guys were making those tiny, tiny little balls? You can do that here. So how many balls am I gonna make, friends, if I'm working on the letter three, Matt? I'm gonna make three balls, three. All right, and they don't have to be big, but they can be big, they can be small, whatever you guys like. I'm gonna squish it on here, see if it will stay. Three, there are my three Play-Doh balls. Not one, not two, not five, not ten, but three. Because that's what letter, or not, that's what number we're working on. Not a letter, Miss Britt. A uh, number, number three. Okay. And then it says to build. Build. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take my Lego truck, my pickup truck that I did. I'm going to pull it apart because it's okay. I'm not going to get upset. I'm going to breathe. It's okay. I'm going to tear it apart. Wait, I need some of these colors. And how many Legos do I have? One, two, three. Three Legos. So I'm going to build like a tower with three Legos like that on my mat. What rhymes with mat? Hat, sat, cat, fat. Not a word, but lat. All right. I do rhyming a lot too. Three. So that's our numbers, Matt. So you guys did one and two the other day. We did three together. And what I'd love for you guys to do at home, because you got time. We got lots of time. I want you to try the number four at home, okay? And you guys can do this. You don't necessarily need your parents' help but I'm sure if they have the time, they'd love to do that. All right, numbers, zero through five. Zero is a number, very good. All right, now, oh, I forgot to ask, how old are you? That's another reason why we need our numbers, remember? How old are you? I can't count my age on my fingers and my toes. I need probably six of you, but you can. Show me how old you are. Are you four? Are you three? Some of our siblings are watching. They may be five or six or seven or 10. I don't know. All right, good. Oh, and I was calm. I used my thinking brain. I was uh, mindfully paying attention. So guess what? I get a sticker. I can do it. I'm gonna have to get some more stickers. I'm out. And I'm gonna put Sticky Kid, Stinky Kid Johnny on my sticker page. There he is, Johnny. He's got a red shirt on. I can do it, yes I can, yay, okay. All right, and don't forget about our friendly man, Matt Man. You can rhyme words with Matt and man. Oh, wait, we, we haven't been uh, using him this week because we did all our letters. Okay, let's review our colors real quick. Remember our colors? It's getting to be really colorful. Look at all these guys. And remember, I sent you guys, where are you, white? Where's my white? Oh, I sent you the white crayon so you guys can color him if you want. Print out a couple of them and color them all different colors. And show me, friends, I would love to see your artwork. I miss being with you and seeing all of that art that you make. Show me, okay? All right, let's do this together, okay? If we take, hello, Mr. Blue, hello, and Mr. Red, and we mix them together, what color do we get, friends? Do you remember? Purple, that's right, purple. Now, if we add some white to that purple, we get light purple. Very, very good, friends. All right, now, if we take 
red and we mix red and we mix it with yellow that's when the magic happens right and we get the color orange now what happens if we add white to orange we would get a light orange a light orange okay what if we take primary colors remember blue and yellow mix them together that's when the magic happens and what do we get green right and then if we take green and we mix it with white what do we get a light green very very good all right friends now what if we take red and white and mix them together what do we get pink right pink boys like pink we read that book and what if we take blue and white and mix blue and white together what do we get friends light blue very very good those are our colors tomorrow we're going to take white and mix it with black right and i gave you that hint the other day as well about what those colors will make bye okay gosh we got so we're learning so much thumbs up we are learning so much thumbs up i am so happy can you guys wink this is a good time to practice winking one i can only wink with one eye my left eye i can't wink with my right eye oh kind of this is also a good time to learn how to snap okay put your thumb on your middle finger snap see if you guys can snap practice snapping all right now so we have our colors that we know how to mix and we made our bunny and i put it in my window i just took it out for right now to show you take some more bunnies like miss laura said and paint some more of the bunnies and put them in your window so we can see all the beautiful colors okay actually maybe i'll take now i'll do it tomorrow because it's getting very long but take your bunnies and mix them together. I was gonna take black and white right now and mix the colors right now, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. But make some art with Miss Laura, do some yoga with Miss Allison, practice your Spanish with Miss Lilia. Um, Miss uh, Science Sarah has so many fun things to do, okay? Like that bird feeder we talked about. Um, and then we also were talking about sign language right those are people that can't that can't hear they can't hear so they listen by looking at your hands and your body language okay so do you remember what we did for the color blue this is a b in sign language put your thumb on your palm inside your hand and you shake it that's blue for red remember we take our pointer finger put it on our lip go down now when you're doing sign language you don't talk okay so red blue and do you remember what yellow is no not like that like that the thumb sorry yellow hello yellow Red, blue, yellow, primary colors, sign language. Practice that at home, too. Um, okay, real, real quick. I know I keep saying real quick, but I'm already at 50 minutes, friends. We've been together for almost an hour, and I love it, and I hope you love it, too, and I hope you're learning a lot. But time goes really fast, and we're having fun here. Okay, so our Lego challenge. Here it is. You and four friends are stranded on an island. I wish I was on, on an island right now. Boy, do I wish I was on an island right now with all that sand. Okay, so you're on an island. An island is a piece of land that's surrounded by water. Okay, and there's got sand there. The Lego challenge today is build a boat to find a way home. You can do it. Let's see all those awesome boats, those Lego boats tomorrow. I'm going to make mine because I have my new Lego set. 
make your boats, okay? And then our kindness bingo, which we're already being kind, which I hope you're being kind. Be kind to your parents, please. Please be kind to them. We made our bunnies to put out for people to see. Today, oh, it says share a toy with someone you love. Share a toy. Share a toy with your puppies. Share a toy with your parents. Share a toy with granny. Share a toy with um, your siblings, your brothers and sisters, right? And remember, if they take it from you and that makes you sad or that makes you mad, count to 10. We know our numbers now. We know how to count. Take out both hands and quietly count to 10 before you say words that you may not want to say that aren't kind, okay? So share a toy with a playmate. Kindness bingo. And what I want to leave you guys with today is we were talking about how it is a little chilly outside. I have my coffee. Cheers. You can have your juice. We can have coffee talk. Okay. Um, go outside. Wear your coat. Practice your zippers. And go outside and mindful listen. Go for a listening walk and look at that blue sky. And in honor of that, I'm going to read you a book called Sky Color. And it's going to tell us about the sky and different colors. And I think tonight I'm going to read a bedtime story. I'm going to read Stinky Kids See a Full Moon. So if you guys would like to join me, hopefully my puppy Pudgy will come. All right, here we go. Sky Color. Very pretty. You can do that with watercolors. All right, here we go. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint just like you. And she even had her very own art gallery. Where is her art gallery, friends? On her refrigerator, right? That's probably where a lot of your artwork is. Not all her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everyone was an artist. Marisol, I believe that too. Everybody is an artist. Yes, you, me, everybody. An artist in their own way. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, <gasps> Marisol couldn't wait to begin. You know what a mural is? A mural is a painting on a wall. And my daughter Emma does lots of murals. There's a mural on the belt line that she made. Yes. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. That means their, their brains were working. They were thinking. The students talked and sketched. Together they made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean, Marisol shouted. I'll paint the sky. You guys do this in the classroom. We get out big paper and you all paint together. They've got watercolors and paints and paint pressures and they all look so happy. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint but could not find any blue. <gasps> Primary color blue. How am I going to make the paint? How am I going to make the sky without blue paint? She said. How? How do you think? Does the sky have to be blue? No, friends. The bell rang. Ding, ding, ding. Stop, look, and listen. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. That means thinking. All the way home, she stared out the window. Now, friends, do you see a blue sky there? What, co what color sky do you see? Mm. The sun lowered closer to the horizon. What colors do you see in that sky, my friends? Red and yellow make orange 
Do you see any blue? I don't see any blue. Later at home, Marisol watched day turn into night. Now what colors do you see? Purple and red, yellow, blue? I don't see any blue. That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. She has what letter coming out of her heads when she's sleeping? Z. <sighs> she drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. We know how to count. Look at that page. Do you think that she's dreaming? Maybe. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue. She smiled. Why do you think she's smiling? Because she's happy knowing that the sky doesn't have to be blue. In this case, it may be gray. Hint, gray. Two colors we're going to mix to make gray. At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began, began adding colors. This one, that one. She swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. She is experimenting with colors. She is a color scientist. Wow. Marisol began, then began painting the wall. A boy asked, what color is that? That, Marisol said, that is sky color. She made a new color called that. Look at that. Now, what is blue in that picture? That's right, the ocean. Is the sky blue? It is not, my friends. It is the color that, meaning it's all different colors because the sky does not always have to be blue. And that, my friends, is another circle time with moi, Miss Britt. I love you all. Be happy. Be mindful. Breathe. Be kind. And be you. I love you.